subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can check to see whether you've been hacked using haveibeenpawned.com. So anytime you create an account with a specific website, you either use your email address, password or phone number to be able to create your accounts. And what I'm simply going to be doing today is showing you the accounts you create with your specific email addresses and phone numbers, whether those ones have been involved in data breaches with specific websites you've got an account with. I will explain what I mean in a moment. Before I do continue, please subscribe to my channel, please like this video, please click on the bell icon to receive notifications and also please support my channel. I would um, really appreciate this. Let's continue. So I've got this website opened up here. It's called haveibeenpawned.com and what I simply do here in the search box is use is or I import my main email address I use to create my accounts with so I use rasolutions.com at gmail.com so that's my email address and I, what I simply do is click on this box here this is the search box porn like that and it will come back with results for me so it's telling me that my account my email address um, has been involved in one data breach. So, oh no, pawned, pawned in one data breach here. What this website will also do is tell me, give me three steps to improve uh, or increase my security here, but also it will give me some details here telling me with the breaches I were pawned in. So, a breach is basically an incident where data has been un unintentionally exposed to the public using, and it will tell me that if I use this one password manager tool here, and um, this will help me to ensure all my passwords are strong enough and unique enough such that a breach, if it does happen, um, hopefully won't put my accounts or services at risk. But also here at the bottom, it will tell me which account my email address was involved in a data breach with. So back in the day, I created an account with canva.com using my email address. And it's telling me here that back in May 2019, canva.com being a graphics design tool, website um, tool, um, it, the website itself suffered a data breach which impacted 137 million subscribers and obviously my account being one of those subscribers there. So, and it also tells me that the exposed data included email addresses, usernames, names, cities of residence and passwords stored and um, so on and so forth here. So it's given me some really detailed information in terms of what information was exposed to the public when I created my account. And it tells me here, it confirms the compromised data. So it's telling me my email address, my geographical um, look, geographic location, name, password, and username have all been compromised exposed to the public meaning on this website or this specific website what i've got to do is i've got to go into that website and i've got to secure my account on that website so i've got to go to canva.com and i'm going to give you some tips when you create accounts with specific websites of what to do to make sure your accounts are really secure so what i'm going to do is go on to canva.com now Here's canva.com, let me go to the home page. So when you log on to the home, um, on any site, you'll, you'll see a dashboard or a home page. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to secure your account on canva.com. So on top right hand corner is my um, profile information. If I click on that, it'll, a drop down will appear. Go to account settings here. When I go to account settings, obviously on the left side, you've got lots of different options. I'm gonna go straight to login and security. Um, because what I want to do is I want to ensure that I've got a couple of things done. Um, one thing is I've changed my password, which I have, to make sure I've got a brand new um, password, which is obviously not used before, um, which is unique for this website. So I, I can say, I can check, and I've done this today anyway. Um, I changed my password earlier on today. So I know my password is new. And the second thing, which is 
probably on the most important thing you can do other than changing your password is making sure if there is an option to enable two-step authentication you enable two-step authentication so basically when you log on to that website um, not only will you will it ask for your username and password when you put your password in click on ok or log in it will and then send a code to your phone and you've got to put that unique code into the box for you to be able to log in successfully so i've got my phone linked to this site now so when anytime i try to log into this website it will send me a code verifying which is the second verification step for you to be able to log in so hence why it's called two-step authentication i've already got it enabled here is to make sure that nobody else can access this website but me unless they've got my phone which they don't because I've got my phone. If you're really worried about the fact that somebody's accessing your account information from somewhere else, you can click on this option here to sign up from every single device which is linked to your account um, there. But keep in mind, it will ask you to sign in again on this device if this is the device you happen to be using. But also keeping in mind that obviously because you've got two-step authentication enabled, it will send you a code on your phone which you've got to input into the website and the last thing if you're really worried about your account being exposed to the public or you've been hacked you there's an option here to delete your account so you can do that as well and then you can start afresh by creating a new account so there's a few options to help secure your account to ensure that if you are hacked how to get your details or how to add additional security to your account so lots of websites should give you the option to enable two-step authentication if you haven't already done so on your websites or the accounts you have please make sure you do that um, so one more time as a summary go to haveibeenporn.com you can check um, to see whether your email address you used um, to register on accounts has been uh, compromised or at the same way some websites use phone numbers so you can input your phone number in there click on porn and it will give you a list of websites that have been involved with data breaches which obviously uh, and it will show you um, link and it will link back to your phone number or, or your email address just to say look your information has been involved in data breaches you can also check here at the top on have i been porn.com if you scroll across from the right, um, left side from home to who's been porn click on this link here you can see a list of all the websites that have been breached in the past um, that have been loaded onto this website so you can see there's a fair few websites on this list that have been involved in a breach so if you've got an account with adobe you can you can straight away tell back in two th 2013 153 million adobe accounts were breached uh, containing again ID, usernames, email, encrypted passwords, so on and so forth. So obviously if you've got an Adobe account, you haven't changed your password since October 2013, my recommendation would be to change your account, enable two-step authentication, keep going down and there's a lot more accounts there or websites and if you're worried that you you got an account with one of them, you can go away and change your account details and add that additional security with two-step authentication. I hope this video has helped you um, to check whether to see if you've been hacked, whether your account has been involved in a data breach. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.